Hey guys, so I'm um, back with another video about, um, this is about a little chemistry and how to get like any star or any, um, I got any star in a level chemistry. It's definitely a really tough subject and um, I ended up retaking mine, but if I would have done what I'm about to tell you from the start, I wouldn't have had to do that. Um, so basically this is all the knowledge I've gained through experience and I really wish someone would have told me this stuff so definitely like pay attention um, and let's get started. I mean I'm going to show you just a few resources that I use and how I study. So okay, first of all this is basically the textbook that I used in class. Um, this is one they gave us at school. Um, this includes both AS and A2, that's why it's that big. Basically, this one, as a textbook, it is good. Like, it is a good book, it does have everything. Um, the only thing I do think that I don't like about this book is the fact that there is a lot of, just sometimes it just goes on and on about kind of nothing and it's just a lot of talking and sort of facts that you, they're really not important at all. Um, so I think it's good because it, it does go over things quite well. So like it's got a lot of information, it's got a lot of good explanation, but it, it does have diagrams as well, which is good. So I do think you should read this, at least go through it and read it a few times to make sure you kind of know the knowledge. Um, that's it. For this one, it's not that good in general just to study for that. What I will show you is how I did most of my studying. I have my iPad here. And basically what I use to make notes on is this website. It's called ChemGuy. And it's by um, this man who also published one of these books which I'll show you later. And basically, if you can see, it's got all the topics here. and well, these are not all the topics. These are like, you can choose different, like sort of, um, for different exam boards. This is the CIE one because, it, and it was really cool because they just changed the syllabus and this one has the new syllabus on there, like, which is really good because the books changed. So actually you really won't need this book anymore because they have the new one, which I didn't end up buying because it was very, very expensive. And also it was kind of a copy of this one, to be honest with you. It, it was kind of the same and I was already pretty much halfway through the year once I decided like I thought I should have bought it but in the end it was okay. This definitely I used, it's got all the topics that you need so I definitely suggest um, to do what I did which is go through each topic, read the page because they're all in pages. I could show you one for example, the first topic. Um, it's got like a little list like this and each one is a topic so each one is basically like a page. Um, and each page, you basically just um, go through the page, just reading it, and then um, make little notes in your book. And how I did notes, I'll show you, I have a few of my books here, was just by using like colors and just using the title with color and then just sort of like really condensing the information and making like really, um, you know, to the point stuff without too much ramblage, you know, it's just to the point. Also doing um, like example problems, I would write all the example problems out, you can see that. Um, and I went through just all of the topics of the new syllabus just on there on ChemGuide, doing that because it's really good and this man really knows what he's talking about and thank you so much, like I don't want to say thank you to him but um, because it's really, it's a really good resource. I really suggest you use that. Because in chemistry, like in my chemistry class, he used to stay stuff, but, and we would write it out, but I used to miss a lot of the information out, and um, like, I, I don't know, I didn't love the way that, like, I was understanding everything. So also, if your teacher's kind of like, you don't really understand what they're saying a lot of the time, I do suggest that you, that like, read the chapter like by yourself before going to lessons so that you sort of kind of know what he's talking about because I didn't do that the first time around and I really was lost most of the time. Okay next book I'm gonna go on to I do think you should get like it's 
a really good book. It's by the person who did the, the Chem Guide website. And it's basically just calculations. It's just calculations, but he does explain everything sort of like in a textbook. And he does everything like really simple, really basic from the start. And then he goes on to a, you know, a bit more complicated. But it is really great. It's really good You for chemistry. Like really, 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 you need to do exercises. like before you do past papers because past papers although there are a lot for CIE chemistry because there's the October November and there's the June like the summer one and there's also like the different variations of the papers but um you still like before you start doing past papers really I suggest that you do this do a few of these just to make sure you know what you're doing so you're not wasting past paper time and also when you do past papers again remember no music and do them time because CIE especially is very tight for time you'll be tight for time I can tell you even for a two where you have the two hour paper I remember like it wasn't too bad because I was prepared but you know I got to the end and it was like I, you know, I had to finish like I didn't have spare time you know to just you know look around I really it was close actually so do that before you do past papers then another resource that I have is this one which I honestly get it or not it's not that great like I don't think it's a very good resource honestly it's so limited like it's like maybe just get it for the organics if you don't know sort of like how to do that if you just want to get it I don't know just to be safe but honestly you won't miss anything. It's really not that good. Um, there's a lot of information missing from this, and I'm honestly, like, I don't recommend. Like, I don't recommend it. Okay, one key thing which I will tell you is the organics is. I'm gonna mention that because it's really important. Like, this book has it all in the end. I don't know if you can see it. Where is it? Here. Like, it's got all the organics. The end chapters are all organics, but. Like, all the people that have tried to learn organics by making lists have, like, not learned anything. To learn organics, trust me when I tell you, you need to make synthetic roots. You just need to, like, that's something you need to do. I don't know if I have one here. I think I might have well, forgotten to get one, but it's just basically, um just all the reactions like connected together into one big diagram I thought I had it with me but I don't that's okay it's just basically each like name like for example you have alkanes to alkenes and what you need to do like alkanes alkenes reaction and then you have to do that for the like benzene and all of them and make just like one big chart with all the um, organics so you have to summarize in one chart and like, okay, so from alkenes to alkanes and then alkanes to like alcohol and from alcohol to carboxylic acid and write down the reactions and you need to do it like that. There's really um, no other way to learn it because it's so much knowledge and you trust me when I tell you, you need to know it all. Like, because they will ask you really detailed questions and you need to know it. Um, what else can I say? Basically, past papers, once you've done all the notes, like I've shown you, um, start doing past papers, start quite early, give yourself at least like two or three months, like, um, and start doing past papers, like, you need to know them, like, you need to know what kind of questions they'll ask you, what to expect, like, especially for CIE, that it's really, like, it's really complex, so you need to get yourself organized, get yourself doing past papers really soon and make sure you're ready for that exam because it's a really tough exam like mm, and you really don't know how you do and like it, that's why you need to have like that base you need to really have that knowledge set in and you really need to know what kind of questions to expect which is only gonna be able to happen if you've done all the past papers so start off with like do summer winter summer winter summer winter um 
try and do them all like it is quite hard there's there's a lot and even though it's a new syllabus just come out this year which I did you can still use the other past papers like it's fine what I will um, advise you to do is that you do some you look through like the mm, Um, pre-U I think it's called or something like that like yeah I think it's pre-U or something um, where it's like another CIE thing where it's exams before you go to university and the knowledge is kind of the same but they do have some of these things which are um, it's new knowledge which is not in um, some of the old past papers but apart from that, if you just do that, do your notes, then go on and do all the past papers you can, you will do good in chemistry, I can assure you. So just start from the start, don't like get to, you won't be able to do like you did in GCSEs and just scrape a grade by studying one month in advance. You need to start from the start and hard, like it's just two years of your life, A-levels, like really, I have to go through retakes, but they're not fun. They're super stressful and it's really just not worth it. Just do it well from the start and you, you'll be fine. So that's it for this video. Study hard.